What is up bros and broettes, it's Inkslasher44 and today we are talking about the top 10 glitches and exploits in Call of Duty history. Now you're going to notice most of these take place in the older Call of Duties considering most of the newer Call of Duties do a pretty good job of evening out the game as far as glitches and exploits though, so let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10 we've got the bipod glitch from Call of Duty World at War. Now this one was special because it allowed you to get out of so many maps. One of these maps that was so prominent during this time was Castle. There was four to five ways to get out of that map just using this bipod glitch as you're gonna see from the video. Now this caused a huge problem in World at War and was patched relatively quickly, but the problem was you put down a bipod leave the gun and then when you left the gun you would move further back into a wall eventually getting out of the map this caused a huge problem in world at war and is why it comes in at number 10. number nine is the prestige glitch from world at war now some of you may not know about this but in world at war on the playstation 3 what you could do was you could do go through all the prestige menus and at the end of it unplug your playstation plug it back in and then just prestige again this wasn't a huge issue but however so many people did it that so many people were prestige master or 10th prestige in call of duty world at war on the playstation it was crazy coming in at number eight is hacked lobbies now hacked lobbies is an interesting one because it's still a problem today in call of duty in call of duty 4 world at war and call of duty modern warfare 2 there are all lobbies that you can get into and weird things will happen you'll either run fast jump high a million different things shoot chopper gunner bullets there's tons of things in modern warfare 2 you there was even one where you, it would make it so you could only play on rust it was crazy and it still is and the fact is what happens is you get into this lobby and then whenever you become a host in a lobby after this everyone that you're playing against then becomes infected as well and then they can host these lobbies too and it's a repeating problem that kind of can never fix itself until it gets patched and even when it does someone seems to find a way to get through that patch it's crazy, uh, if you've gotten to one of these lobbies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Kinda sucks, but it's kind of hilarious at the same time. Number 7 is Prestige Lobbies. Now, this was in Modern Warfare 2, and you guys probably remember getting message upon message upon message of people saying, 1600 Microsoft points to join my prestige lobby and you'll become 10th prestige and get all the challenges in the world and these actually did exist but most people were just trying to take your microsoft points but i actually managed to get into one of these by accident i joined my friend's private match and he was hosting one of these prestige lobbies and basically what happened is i killed someone and then all of a sudden i blew up gained thousands upon thousands upon thousands of xp I uh, got unlocked all the challenges all at once and uh, had 10 classes that were all different colors. It was really weird. I don't know how exactly it worked, but people were swamped by these messages in Modern Warfare 2. And uh, it was actually a huge problem. I couldn't stand playing it because I would just get so many messages of people asking me to join their freaking prestige lobby for money. It was crazy. Anyways, uh, it was a crazy problem and that's why it's at number 7. Number 6 was the Akimbo Model 1887s from Modern Warfare 2. Now this one was a little fun to do, I'm not going to lie. You could equip Akimbo to your Model 1887s and they would get Unreal. They would have Unreal range, you'd be able to kill people from so far away, and they'd have Unreal damage. So it would pretty much be a one-shot kill up to like 30 feet every single time. Now this actually took them like probably a month to patch as everything else did in Modern Warfare 2 and made it so you could play with these weapons and they were beasts. They were so much fun. I remember people posting videos of getting nukes with them. It was hilarious. At the same time, really annoying because literally up to 30 feet, there was nothing you could do against these weapons uh, considering they reloaded really fast and had this unreal range, but it was a real problem and that's why it comes in at number six. Coming in at number 5 was the MP40 from Call of Duty World at War. This gun was ridiculous, almost ruining the game as a whole because if you used any other gun, you were at a disadvantage. What do I mean by this? When you equip Round Drum and Juggernaut to the MP40, the clip size becomes that of an LMG, you then have Juggernaut and can still get two hit kills from very far away. The base damage of the gun is 42, and the range drop-off was ridiculously long. Ridiculously long. It was crazy. So, this made this gun a god gun, not to mention that the, uh, the, uh crosshairs for it were so small that you really never needed to aim down sights. This gun was so good, you could not aim down sights, aim across the map, get a two-hit kill 
with Juggernaut on. It was ridiculous, made a huge problem in the game, and that is why this comes in at number 5. Coming in at number 4 is probably my second favorite on this list, next to number 1. This glitch is the Care Package glitch from Modern Warfare 2, and it was hilarious, awesome, and really freaking annoying. Basically what it was is you could get a Care Package, or more annoyingly, if that was even a word, uh, an emergency airdrop, call it in while kind of climbing over a ledge, and after you picked up all your care packages, which is four for an emergency airdrop, you would then have another emergency airdrop to call in, essentially giving you unlimited emergency airdrops, giving you four care packages upon four care packages upon four care packages, giving you unlimited kill streaks. It was ridiculous. You would get into a match, there would be literally every kill streak, no one to man because three people in a lobby were doing this. Uh, not saying I didn't do it, but, uh, <coughs> anyway, um, this glitch was awesome. As you can see from this video, this person is getting just ridiculous killstreaks, predator missiles, AC-130s, helicopters, it is ridiculous. And not to mention, you often get sentry guns from this care packages, these care packages, making it so you have a whole area to yourself that you can call in these kill streaks, call in your airdrops. It was ridiculous, hilarious, and really freaking annoying. Coming in at number three is the overgrown under the map glitch. Now, this one was a little silly, and here's why. In Call of Duty 4, in the little valley in Overgrown, you could jump into the wall or rocks, depending on how you look at it, and fall underneath the map. People couldn't see you, but you could see them, making it so that you could kill them without being detected. Now, the ridiculous part about this is, when they ported the map over to Modern Warfare 2, they left the under the map glitch in the map, making it so in two separate games, the same glitch existed. That's how bad Infinity Ward was at patching things in their game. This was ridiculous, but at the same time a little hilarious that they couldn't catch this the first time. Coming in at number 2 is the One Man Army Noob Tube Exploit from Modern Warfare 2. This one made it so that you could choose any gun with noob tubes, use One Man Army with Danger Close, and make it so that you had an unlimited supply of noob tubes. Not to mention that if you had One Man Army Pro, you could switch that class extra quick so you could get those noob tubes even faster. People, This glitch was so ridiculous that people were using it to get nukes within minutes of the game starting. It was a ridiculous problem, you could get noob tube kills across the map because the enormous blast radius because of danger close, and that's why it comes in at number 2. So you're probably thinking after all these glitches, what could possibly be number 1? And the reason why I picked this as number 1 is because it was the most fun in my opinion to do, and what I'm talking about is the javelin glitch. I loved doing the javelin glitch. It was so much fun, so annoying, and so hilarious. What it was is you could run around with your javelin out and shoot it when you got killed to destroy an entire room, a huge room at that, of people. Plus, you could throw J Danger Close on and make the blast radius that much bigger. This glitch was so annoying, but so hilarious at the same time, and that's why it comes in at number one. And, also, it took a while to get patched like everything else in Modern Warfare 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I certainly enjoyed making it. If you did, it would be great if you left me a thumbs up to help me out. It would be fantastic. As you can see on the screen, the video on the left is the top 5 ways to improve at Call of Duty, and the video on the right is the AK-12 best class setup. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, guys, peace out.